Welcome to Tax Teach. I hope you're all having a great day. My name's Sean. I'm a certified public accountant specializing in taxation. And today I want to talk about a retirement account called the Roth IRA. And the reason why I want to talk about this account is because of the tax benefits one can get when they put money into this account. Without further ado, I want to give you the definition of what a Roth IRA is. So let's take a look. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account that offers tax-free growth and tax-free withdrawals in retirement. Roth IRA rules dictate that if you've owned your account for five years and your age is 59 and a half or older, you can withdraw your money when you want to and you won't owe any federal taxes. To put a Roth IRA in more basic terms, uh, a Roth IRA is a retirement account you set up with a financial institution. Think Schwab, Fidelity, Vanguard, or a variety of different other financial institutions. You set up that account, and then you put money into that account. And once you have the money into the account, the next step is to choose the investment you want to put your money towards. There's a couple investments that come up to mind that are allowed through the Roth IRA. One is common stock. There is mutual funds, index funds. There's bonds. There's certificate deposits. So there's a variety of different options to choose to put your money into. And what happens is once you put the money into these investments and your the value of your investment grows, all this growth is tax free. So by the time you're 59 and a half and take out the money from your Roth IRA, none of that's taxable. And that's the beauty of the Roth IRA. And I'm going to go into some specifics about the Roth, Roth IRA. For example, generally speaking, you don't take money out of the Roth IRA until you're 59 and a half. But technically, after five years, you can take money out of your Roth IRA. But there's some consequences. If you take out money out of your Roth IRA uh, before you're 59 and a half, you might be subject to a penalty. First, you have to pay taxes on that amount you take out of your Roth IRA. There's also a 10% penalty on top of that. So it's very detrimental to take money out of your Roth IRA before it matures by the time you're 59 and a half. That being said, there are some exceptions. One that comes to the top of my mind is if you're a first time home buyer, you can take up to 10,000 out of your Roth IRA, generally speaking, and that doesn't have any penalty on it. I have a, a link down in my description that goes over a couple other exceptions to the general rule where you don't want to take money out of your Roth IRA until you're 59 and a half. So just check out my the, the link in the description below. That with that, let's talk about some of the requirements that are needed for you to even put money into your Roth IRA. Some um, criteria, if you will. Generally speaking, if you are single, you can contribute up to $6,000 into your Roth IRA every year. However, there is a uh, adjusted gross income limitation. Basically, if you're making over 140,000 every year, you won't be able to contribute anything to your Roth IRA because you're over the adjusted gross income limit. If you are between 125,000 and 140,000 adjusted gross income, then you're pro rate how much of your 6,000 contribution you can make. And if you're making under 125,000 in adjusted gross income, you can uh, contribute the full 6,000 to your Roth IRA. You can see above if you're married filing jointly, you can, uh, if you're, if you and your spouse are making over two hundred and eight thousand dollars, you won't be able to contribute anything to your Roth IRA. If you're married, you can take six thousand for each for your spouse and yourself, so a combination of twelve thousand every year. Also, it should be mentioned that once you hit the age of fifty, you get an additional thousand that you can contribute to your Roth IRA, so seven thousand. Keep that in mind as you reach that age. And yeah, this is the the limits to how much you can take for your Roth IRA on this table. Now that we've gone over what a Roth IRA is, what qualifications you need to meet in order to contribute that 6,000 into your account every year, I wanna show you show you all an example of um, a, an individual contributing 6,000 every year into a Roth IRA for 11 years and show you the benefit of uh, what a Roth IRA can do for you. So let's check out an example of what um, what benefits the Roth IRA can have. All right, here's an example right here of someone who puts six thousand dollars into their Roth IRA, and then uses that money to invest either into 
stock market, through common stock or index funds. It's not unusual for the stock market to over time have a eight to 10% return. Um, that's the assumption we're having in this file for you to look at. And as you can see over the years, your money slowly grows. By the time it's 11 years down the road, you can see that your money's grown to around $112,000. And I wanted to highlight two things in this example. One, the power of compound interest. I'm not gonna go too much into what compound interest is. It's a financial term. Um, essentially, your money grows on top of its growth over the years as time goes on. So the earlier on you put your money into investments, the more that will grow over a time frame. As you can see here, if you would over 11 years, you put $66,000 into your Roth, or, uh, Roth IRA and then invested that money, you would have made around $46,000 on top of your $66,000 of contributions to your account, having an overall investment of $112,000 by the time 11 years have rolled around. And so if you're 59 and a half years old and take out that money, none of that money is taxed, which is great. You're not getting that you know, anywhere from 20 to you know, upper 30s uh, tax rate on that amount, as opposed to if you would have just had that money in a normal brokerage account, an investing account, all that $46,000 would be taxed at whatever tax rate that is applicable to you as a taxpayer. And here you can, you know, this example highlights both you know, not being taxed on any of that gain in your investment and the fact that the, the, the concept of compound interest is such a great tool to use in building your wealth towards retirement. As we end this video, I just wanted to say um, when you're planning for retirement, I always recommend you do your own research or talk to a financial advisor and figure out what's the best plan for you moving forward. I wanted to make this video to make you all aware of this Roth IRA and what it what it can do for you for retirement and give you this option in consideration as you plan for retirement. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed the video, hit, hit the like button. Uh, makes me know, lets me know that I'm creating good videos for you all. And if you want to watch more videos like this in the future, I try to post weekly. So hit the subscribe button and you'll be up to date on videos I post in the future. Uh, I'll see you all next video.